Isn't it weird that pineapples aren't made from neither pine nor apples? How do you make pineapple sexy? Like this. Hi guys, that's what I was everyone doing. Good, I hope this this is well overdue, this video, this review. A while back, a company called Pineapple, no, they're not even called that, <sighs> start that again. A while back, a company called Puffums Vintage sent me a little message on the internet saying, um, would you like to review our fragrance? So I said, uh, hell yeah, why not? So they sent me it, and I'm supposed to have reviewed it last month, but I didn't because of stuff and life and things. Um, anyway, so apologies to you guys, but here's my review anyway. So I'll start by saying that this review is probably completely different from any review I've ever done before because I have never reviewed a fragrance that is on the market as an alternative to another fragrance. So if you know anything about this company at all, you will know, and if you're in the fragrance community maybe, you will know that this fragrance is an alternative to what people call the king of fragrances, Aventus by Creed. Now I want to say first, or first off that this review, what, the difference between my review of this and probably a lot of the other reviewers that have reviewed this is that I'm not super familiar with Aventus, so I'm kind of reviewing the fragrance as it is. Saying I've never smelled Aventus would be a lie, because I have. I sprayed it on my hand once two years ago, and the only other dealings I've had with that fragrance has been um, somebody started at my work, a new guy, and he used to smell amazing. So I did ask him, what is it that you're wearing? Because, you know, obviously you're going to ask the person that. And he said, it's Aventus by Creed. So I was like, okay, that's really nice. So I've smelled it on another person occasionally, um, but I've never worn it myself. So I have to get that out of the way because, yeah, this I'm reviewing this kind of as a sole fragrance. So they're called Vintage Parfum, Parfum Vintage. I will get that right one day. One day in my life. One day in your life. Puff Arms Vintage. This came out in 2016. They have three fragrances. Pineapple Vintage, Pineapple Vintage Noir, which they did send me a few samples of, and they've just released a new one called Pineapple Vintage Intense, I believe. And from my knowledge and what I've gathered is that each one corresponds to different batches of Aventus. I do want to say, Aventus, oh my gosh, the people wet their pants over that fragrance. Men and women in the fragrance community just seem to just go, what's it all about? I mean, I do understand. Aventus is really nice, and this actually is really nice. Anyway, it's a Sheep Fruity 2016, and let me go through the notes with you. I have taken the notes from Fragrantica, um, because that's my go-to place. I'm not sure if they differ from what's in the other one, um, and or what's actually in it, but I'm just going to go with what I have, okay? So, the top notes are pineapple, apple, and birch. Birch is the clincher. And then the heart notes are same, pineapple, birch, uh, but also bergamot, uh, blackcurrant leaf, and rose. And then the base notes are birch, again. So I guess we're just having birch on every level today if that's okay with you. Birch, ambergris, musk, vanilla and patchouli. So I really like this box. I think it's really quite sexy. There's a cool image on the back that I'm not sure what that is. It's a man that looks like he's waving a wand of gold dust over a theatre and there's a really strangely placed pineapple in one of the seats. Pineapples need to watch shows too, you know. Don't be so cruel. But yeah, while I'm opening this, I will tell you that Every time I've worn this, people have gone a little bit crazy, in a good way. People seem to love this fragrance. It is already going up the ranks in one of my most complimented fragrances ever. Um, I had a lady come over to me that worked with me the other day and actually pick this up and spray it on herself because she just kept saying, I need to know what that is, I need to wear it. So it has got an instant love from a lot of people in my office. And for the record, the guy that wears Aventus said to me one day, when, as he walked in, it smells like Aventus near you, are you wearing it? So, go figure. Anyway, 
I love the bottle. I think it's really cute. I love this smooth roundness. The lighting's changed. Do apologise. Just have to deal with it. That's what, that's what we do. That's what we do around here, okay? Yeah. So, what does this smell like? I mean, this is pretty... Uh, it's sexy pineapple. It's sexy man pineapple. What it smells like when you first put it on is very tart and juicy pineapple and apple. But I said before, the clincher in this is birch. Now, birch is one of the most intense woody essential oils I've ever worked with. It is so potent. It smells like scorched wood. It smells like bonfire. It smells like smoke. It's really, really like a charred wood and it's very dark and heavy. And it's a very juxtaposed thing that happens in this fragrance to me. You've got this really juicy, gorgeous pineapple, which doesn't smell at all tropical. You would think that pineapple maybe has a tropical thing going on here, but no, the birch doesn't allow that to happen. The birch really has this twist of smoky darkness in this fragrance that makes it feel like pineapple on a very sexy, suave gentleman. Very unusual and apparently instant love from a lot of people. It's very easy to like. It seems to make people's noses very happy when I wear it. They have it on Fragrantica as a men and women fragrance. I know for a fact that Aventus was created for men, but there are no rules anymore. Who cares? No one cares anymore. I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. Do you care? There's no one there. It's really, really well balanced and it's really different from anything I've smelled. At first glance, I was going to say, but not glance, on first sniff, I think it would maybe be obvious as a typical men's fragrance, but smelling deeper and wearing it a lot and seeing the reaction from other people, it really is something a bit special. I love it. I mean, I don't really wear men's fragrances that often. If you follow my channel, you will know that. But this, I wear quite a bit. There's a tingle of something green in there, it's like this black currant leaf. Um, I don't really smell any rose or anything vanillary at all, or even patchouli, um, anything like that. It really is centred around this very tart, sharp pineapple-apple combination with a very sexy, woody, kind of smoky kind of smell. And um, I do have fragr uh, fragrances, I do have samples of the noir version, which I'm guessing is... To my knowledge and the stuff that I've read, there are different batches of Aventus and it comes in different various forms. I didn't really tell much difference between the two, so that's why I'm not really going to do a comparison or talk about that one too much. But the other one felt, uh, I guess, a tiny bit darker and a little bit more birch intense, but there was not really too much difference, so it's best just to stick to this one. So many words coming out of my mouth. So many. I love that this is quite linear. It doesn't ever change too much. First blast is pretty much what you're going to get for 90% of the wear length, so um, it, it does its job in that respect, and it lasts. I mean, I reapply it because I'm just a fragrance whore, but yeah, it, you don't really need to. It's very good quality, um, and it isn't exactly, even though it's an alternative fragrance to something, it isn't necessarily a cheap one, so they seem to have done a really good job of recreating what it is I think I have smelled on my hand before and what this guy wore to my work or wears or used to wear to my work so many words there's no sweetness it just retains this twang right through the center of it this twang of pineapple stays and stays and stays all the time um, and it's really nice to have something like apple pineapple that doesn't fade out or you know it's a top note usually fruity things Pineapple is kind of citrusy, tropical smelling. It kind of stays. It is the core of this fragrance with this amazing masculine kind of sexy birch around it. Just really good. So um, I'm not really sure what else to say about it really, apart from that it projects really well, it lasts really well, and man, does it get compliments. Out the wazoo. What does that even mean, out the wazoo? I've heard people say that, so I thought I might just kind of throw it in there. I don't know. So yeah, really long overdue video. I do apologise, Puff Arms Vintage, but I've done it now and I really love this, so well done. I'm really happy with it. I have people that want to take this off of me and they're not going to get it. It's mine. So anyway, I'm Apsha One Oak. Let me go down there to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Goodbye.